Welcome back. Samsung announcing that the production of the Galaxy Note 7 has been suspended permanently. This after recalling two and a half million devices after reports of explosions and issuing replacements that were unable to cure the dangerous problem. The scandal could cost the company now more than $2 billion in profits. That could worsen. The lithium ion batteries in these devices is likely the culprit. Joining us right now is Mashable Technology Editor Pete Paschal. Pete, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. So, okay, we have the Galaxy Note 7, and you got hoverboards, e-cigarettes. All mm -hmm. of these things have one thing in common: the lithium battery, right? Yeah, the, the batteries, like lithium-ion batteries, are in virtually all of our gadgets today. Um, the vast majority of them are safe, <laughs> um, and uh, there's, this is one one of those um, strange cases where uh, it appears, and they still honestly don't know the problem, but there's some kind of defect either in the battery or the design of the phone itself that causes in some cases uh, these things to catch fire. But I mean, as since now we have a second recall, they see, thought they had fixed the problem and now they're, they're recalling them again. Uh, clearly, they're still figuring out what exactly is the problem. Can I just say, I, I should know this, but this one, the I, Apple does not have the lithium? It does. Yeah. No, all cell phones all today cell phones. use lithium so ion batteries. How come it's only the Samsung phone that's having this problem? Because that's a really high energy one? Right. Well, no, the, to some extent, yes. We are every year, the phones tend to get thinner. They tend to pack more energy in because we, we demand more and the chemistry changes slightly. But that doesn't seem to be the problem here. I, what it looks like has happened, and I don't know, I mean, I don't think Samsung knows, is that there is some kind of inherent design flaw with not necessarily just the battery or just the phone, but with how everything interacts within the phone. They're still investigating, uh, which is why they've basically killed the product now. Uh, but it's, 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 it, it's a thing that can happen to any battery. Any battery can explode, but up until now, these have usually been outliers. Like someone charges a phone with a third party cord from China that doesn't meet the same yeah. thing, uh, regulatory That's problems. So, so, like, this, this has happened before, just not on this scale with a single product, but not in mobile. It, isn't it astonishing and a little bit frightening that Samsung didn't anticipate this problem during the design process and during the quality testing. I mean, does that, it's, I mean, it's, it's breathtaking, quite well, frankly. Well, according to reports, they've been trying to replicate the problem on their own since it first started happening, and they haven't been able to. So what they've had to do, and uh, this is, you know, I'm not sure of the internal workings of Samsung, but I believe they've basically made assumptions on where the, because they have two battery suppliers for this phone, and they thought, well, this one uh, supplier that seems to be the problem let's stop those and just go with the other one they did that didn't work we still had the problem had so it. clearly the there was, there's more to it I, I suspect it's a very complex problem with both the battery and the phone and the design mm. and s using it in certain situations but uh, we'll have to wait and see and what I think needs to happen for Samsung to regain trust is to come completely clean this is a notoriously secretive company uh, and they're very bad at communicating usually so I mean, in this case if they're if we're gonna look at the Galaxy <laughs> S8 which presumably will come out in a few months with with anything other than suspicion they need to completely come clean about this uh, uh, look the half a million hoverboards were recalled in July they were exploding and then the government says between 2009 and 16 there were 134 incidents of e-cigarettes overheating and exploding or, or catching fire well, because just, of this issue. Yeah, junk devices like well, hoverboards junkier than a they're also eight hundred dollar cell phone they're also fairly new categories of products I mean like hoverboards were brand new and overnight like many companies sprouted up like selling hoverboards before underwriters laboratories and other sort of uh, regulatory bodies could even have a chance to try these things out. So hoverboards were kind of a very weird, unique case also because it not only does it have a huge battery, it's a thing you're, you're actually physically punishing, you know, you're jumping around on this thing. So I think that was, that was a very, very much a perfect storm of, of a crisis. Um, and now apparently they're safer, but it, it looks like the hoverboards was kind of a fad anyway, so I don't know yeah. how much difference that's going to make. Say this? Like, I'm always late to the game with technology, but I feel like I'm justified now because if you try new technology, it could blow up in your face. It can really burn you. Yeah, it's like, oh, thank you, you. Keep you. Your thank flip you for adding phone. that. Sorry, yeah. You keep that flip phone. Please. Well, phones in particular, because not only we're packing more energy, and now we're asking for waterproofness in it, like the new iPhone is waterproof. What this does, it creates a pressurized environment inside the phone. Great. Which, again, if you design your batteries right, if you design your phones right, Everything will be okay, but one mistake Great. can now be even more catastrophic than it was My five years ago. My seven's getting delivered today. It's awesome. <laughs> Maybe it'll <laughs> explode. Just wait a little bit. <laughs> really good stuff. Pete, thank you. My